Now, I absolutely love the UFC, so I felt it was only necessary to go for the UFC 5 Platinum Trophy. So the game has 32 trophies, and the two main trophies that we're going to be working towards are the best there ever will be for becoming a GOAT in the career mode, and the second one is pound for pound for prestige in a fighter in online career mode. But those two are for another time, so sit back, relax, and join me on another Platinum journey. The first trophy we get was for pretty much turning the game on, which is for having an alter ego fighter. In the PlayStation Store, you can go there. I think it's until like mid-November, you can download Muhammad Ali for free, and that'll unlock this trophy. Wait, what? Shapeshifter? Acquire an alter ego fighter. It's the first trophy I get when I jump on the game. Oh, I'm guessing it's because I downloaded the uh, Muhammad Ali which was a free download. I'll take it. I then jumped straight into the career mode and the first two trophies, we jumped into a backyard fight. Do you want to say something to the stream? Yeah, I got something for you. You're looking at a future UFC champ. Yeah. Remember that. Let's go. Hell yeah, you are. Here we go. Let's do it. Our first fight. It's in the backyard, apparently. All right, here we go. Oh, we got a trophy. Slice versus Dreads. Yes, and that's just for the first. First backyard fight. He's dead. <laughs> the best there is. Oh my god, he got another one. Upgrade a move during a fight or training in career mode. Wait, upgraded a move already? Okay. A career begins. Check my knockout. Baboosh! Beautiful head kick. Look at that. Boom. Oh. oh my god, his face. Here we go with a slow mo. <laughs> Let's go. We knocked the guy out and then we went to talk to Coach Davis and did a little bit of training. What is that tattoo, though? <laughs> that is the worst tattoo I've ever seen. Oh, chill, man. What are you trying to do? Knock me out in sparring, bro. Chill. I just gotta block him. High block. Next to be low block. Yeah. Low. No high and low. Once we'd completed the training, we went into our first amateur fight. There we go. Another amateur fight. Come on, mate. Oh ho ho. Dead. We of course knocked the guy out and then we went back into training. Yes, yes. This time we was training submissions. And while I was training the submissions, I unlocked another trophy. Oh nice. Position over submission. Release a submission to advance your position. I then quickly jumped into my second fight and we ended up winning by submission unlocking this trophy. I feel like we should finish this one by submission. Oh, shit. Slam dunk, mate. Ooh. Right in the guillotine. I'm trying to boy. Got him. Tapped. Beautiful. You either win or learn. That's for finishing a fight by a choke submission. Let's go. My man's well rounded. Look at that shit. Boom. Slam. Beautiful. Daniel Cormier esque slam right there. Straight into the arm triangle. Over. After that one, we just went straight back into training again and unlocked this one. Oh, nice. It's another trophy. What's that one? Spinning shit. <laughs> Landed spinning attack on your opponent. I'm surprised the those trophies count during training. Then, no rest days round here. We went right back into the octagon. Knocked out this fool. Oh my god, he's dead. Absolutely flatlined him. Jesus. 
and apparently Dana White saw it and gave us the opportunity to join the Contender Series. Oh, we're making it big. Dana White's Contender Series, hell yeah. We took a trip to the UFC Performance Center. Yo, we about to get a UFC contract. UFC Performance Institute. I met up with Valentina Shevchenko. Uh, Shevchenko. And then earned a trophy for signing a contract for the Contender Series. Here we go, Dana White's Contender Series. Let's get it. 10 grand show, 10 grand win. Let's sign. Ooh, no Riz. There's another trophy for us. Get your first UFC contract in career mode. We didn't actually get a contract yet though, did we? We're just fighting on the Contender Series. We have to win the fight and get the contract, don't we? All right, here we are, we're in. It's time for Stinky Pinky to uh, become the GOAT. Now that we'd signed the contract, we got our first fight offer. And once we'd accepted the fight, we went into training camp and unlocked this. Showtime. Start your Contender Series training camp in career mode. Before the fight though, we went into a little bit of training. We were sparring on the heavy bag and got a grade A for this. Nerd. It's another trophy, achieving A grade in a training drill in career mode. Now we're getting so many trophies. I've been playing for like an hour and I've already got, what, like nine trophies. After that, we was prepping for our first fight, the Contender Series fight. Valentina gave us a little bit of a pep talks, as did the coach. And we went out and we got a finish. We go let's do it contender series fight Ready. Ready. Do it. oh my god oh gg with that fight won dana decided to give us an official ufc contract so of course we signed it and we got our first fight in the UFC. Contract earned. Sign the contract. Accept contract. Now we're officially a UFC fighter. And then with the training camp complete, it was time for our first UFC fight against Tony Ferguson. What? Fighting Tony Ferguson from the get-go? What the hell, imagine? All right, here we go. So GOAT status. This is one of the trophies that we're going to be working towards throughout the whole of our career. So to become a GOAT, we need a certain amount of records. So you can see there, uh, six performance records, two promotional records equals a total of eight. So that's how we become the GOAT. Win by submission 17 times, win by knockout 15 times, 21 finishes, 43 fights overall, UFC wins, so get 26 wins. Fight of the night bonuses, we'd need nine. 17 wins in a row, so a 17 win streak. 14 performance bonuses, 12 consecutive UFC title defenses, and two division champions. So as long as we can complete six of those, we'll have done the performance records, and then we need to do two promotional records. So we can either do career earnings, which is looks like earning 100 million, earn 2.4 million pay-per-view buys, gain 8 million followers, and compete in a pay-per-view main event 19 times. So as long as we can complete two of those and six of the performances, we will become a UFC GOAT, which again is the main goal of the career mode. So let's go. I'm ready to fight, bro. Let's go. So I'm going to knock you out in one round, bro. It's going to happen. Come on, bro. Get up. Pussy. Come on, bro. Get back up. Get up, bro. Stop being a pussy. You little bitch. Fucking let's go. Oosh! Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Oh, that's just a straight, bro. Ended. Oof. Evil. Who wants to fight? Who's getting knocked out next? Sorry, the case of a longer camp this time. With Tony Ferguson behind us, we accepted our second fight and then jumped straight into training camp. While we was training with our partner, we, uh... He's dead, bro. <laughs> Headshot. Bang. 
Knock out an opponent on the same side they were damaged on. Sweet. I kind of wish you didn't get these trophies during the training. I feel like you should really only get them during an actual fight to make it a little bit more interesting, you know? We then signed a new contract, went into training. Contract earned. 21 to show, 21 to win. And took down our training partner to unlock this. Oh, we got a trophy. Come back to bed, okay. Performed five successful takedowns in a fight. We then went into our next fight against Paul Felder. Once we'd beat him, we ended up becoming a ranked fighter, which means we got another trophy. Ooh, look at me now. Become a ranked fighter in any UFC weight class in career mode. Let's go, brother. Sorry, Felder. So things were going really well for Mr. Ning. Dana and the Brass trusted us enough to put us in the main event, so it was time for our first UFC main event. And I was super surprised at the opponent because we actually had a different opponent, but they got injured. My first main event. So we had a new surprise opponent, and it was none other than... And now our tail the take for this lightweight scrap. What the hell? Connor? That was my replacement fighter. Okay. I'm down. Let's do it. It didn't matter though, because we knocked him out like everyone else. Once we'd knocked out Connor, we went right back into training camp for our next opponent. Oh. Our next opponent was Bobby Green. We knocked him out as well, which earned us a title shot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Over, bro. Game over. Holy shit, I can already fight the champion. Hell yeah, I'm taking it. Let's go, bro. Full six-week camp. Let's get it. Here we go. Title fight time. Let's go. Makhachev is going down. Leveled up my takedown defense. As long as I don't grapple on the ground, play on the ground with him, which should be okay. Go for a second, second round knockout or something. Oh my God. He's got Hasbulla in his corner. Look at him down there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Hasbulla to be in the game. Okay. Sure, why not? Won 12 fights in a row. Well, that streak's about to come to an end, mate. Stinky Pink is becoming the champ tonight. Here we go. 9-0, undefeated. My guy's only 21 years old as well. He's about to become the champion at 21. That's insane. The main event of the evening. Let's go. <laughs> come on, go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. Touch gloves, touch gloves, touch gloves. You better touch gloves. No touch gloves. You little bitch. I'm going to end you in round one, bro. Come on, then. You don't touch gloves? What's that bullshit? Huh? What's that bullshit? Hey, yeah, Michael Jeff! Oh, he's oh he's at it with the takedowns. Right, we gotta be careful here, cause this could go badly. All right, we're up, we're up. Yeah, easy get up, mate. Ain't nobody got up that fast before. I'm gonna knock him out with a spin wheel kick. Boosh! Oh! Oh! -hoo! Come on, Michael Jeff! Get up! Get up! Oh, he went for a takedown, right? It's an uppercut. I'm gonna knee him in the face if he goes for that again. Oh! Jeff. Come on. That was awkward. No. Oh, no. He's got me down again. Get up. Get up. All right. Easy, bro. I don't think anyone's ever got up that easy against Macha Jeff in, in, in the actual UFC. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. It's over. We've got a new champion. New lightweight champion of the world. Sticky Pigay. The blue-haired warrior. Let me see this. Look at this. No idea. He didn't even put his hands up. He went for a hook. Now he's dead, mate. Hell, gone. Mine. Beautiful. I told you I'd knock him out with a spinning wheel kick. Here we go. We got a new champion, boys. Go on, Danny. Give me my belt. You can have a rematch as well if you want, bro. Go on, Danny. Give me my belt. Give me my belt. Herb Dean. Put those hands up. Stinky Pinky. So now to become GOAT as well, I've got to defend it uh, 12 times in a row, I think it was. So let's go defend this thing now. Woo, there it is. It looks beautiful. Boom, there it is. No trophy though for becoming champion. This is how the GOAT status is looking at the minute as well. You see, I've got one submission, eight knockouts, nine finishes, nine fights, nine UFC fights. Uh, I've got one performance bonus, and of course, we're on a nine win streak. But now we have to get that one where we got to defend the title 12 times in a row. So that's what we're going to work on next. Right. Who's my first title defense against? Oh my God. 
Our first title defenses against Habib Nurmagomedov. No, way, that's crazy. So we beat Makhachev and now Habib's coming for revenge. I don't know if it's supposed to work like that, if they, they built the game to do it like that, but that that's, uh, that's cool. Let's get it. All right, my first title defense. Let's go, Habib. And his teammate gets knocked out as well. <laughs> Title defense number one. 11 more to go. I mean, can you get really any more difficult than be beating Makhachev for the title and then beating Habib in the in my first title defense? Can you really get any more difficult than that? I don't think so. Oh, that's cool. They even updated the title. So they, um, every time you have a successful title defense, you get an extra gem on the belt. So yeah, I guess that's why we need uh, we need to get all them defenses. So now that we've become champion and we defended the belt one time against Habib, I thought it'd be a pretty good time now to maybe jump into some of the online trophies. So the first two I wanted to tackle were for the blitz mode. Nothing too serious here. You get the first trophy just for playing the blitz mode. All right, here we go. Blitz, let's get it. Destroying him. Aldo's getting slapped. Oh my god, that was brutal. <laughs> Aldo just got slapped. Boosh! Let's go. Give me that slow mo. Oh! Oh, he almost fell onto my knee as well. There we go. A quick round. So that's just for entering Blitz Battle, and then the second trophy for getting to round three. All right, we're in. Oh, he's played as Poirier. This could be a tough fight. So in this mode, this is actually seven rounds to get to the final, but you only actually need to get to round three. So you only need to win two fights. He's not really uh, doing the best job blocking this guy. To be fair though, I've not really played online, so. Oh, that was freaking clean. Oh my god. So maybe my opponents aren't the greatest at the minute, you know? He's dead. <laughs> Let's go, bro. I was expecting a harder fight there with him obviously being beating his first opponent and him being a Poirier. Probably one of the better boxers that we could have chose. I thought it was going to be a bit tougher. There we go. Boom. That was super easy. Oh, we only needed to get to round three. So that's the two blitz mode trophies that was way easier than ufc through uh four sorry because I th if i remember right in ufc four you needed to actually win the blitz mode like the whole thing so yeah they made it a lot easier in this one with blitz mode done out the way don't have to worry about that mode anymore i thought i'd jump into a random fight and while in that fight we had the doctor come into the octagon oh i got a trophy just bleed have a doctor enter the cage to check out a court. Oh, okay, nice. That's a pretty cool trophy. After I've done that, I jumped right back into the career mode. We was up against Justin Gaethje, and we ended up finishing him by ground and pound. Oof. This could be over. This could be a quick one. Oh, this is not looking good for Gaethje. I'm going to continue the ground and pound. This is brutal. Oh, this is over, I think. Oh, we got a trophy as well. Relentless. I didn't even hear it pop. Finish a fight by ground and pound. Let's go. After brutally finishing Gaethje, I think we were about five or six defenses into the title. We got a random tweet from someone about a super fight going for the double champ. Of course, I was like, yes, I accept. Dana must have seen it, got some traction, and the double champ fight was on. Graf has the champion up there. Okay. The fans wanted the media one. So hell yeah, let's go, bro. Let's go. We're going to go for the belt and become double champ. Five week camp. Going up a weight class though, so it's going to be the bigger man. It's probably going to have more power, but we'll have the speed and the technique. My time. Here we go, brother. Are we going to become double champ? Yo, you go for the fake touch, you bitch. What's that about? Come on. I like I want to submit him just to, to rub it in. Oh, this is not going well for him. First round. It's getting absolutely slapped. Arm bar, mate. Let's go. Surely you weren't going to tap that early. Go for an arm triangle. Don't have much stamina, though, so it might be a bit weak. Gonna have to get some stamina back. Oh, I'm a level five with the arm triangle, though. That's crazy. 
referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away. Very dangerous. Really? Stood us up? We're going to town on each other. How do you, why do you stand us up? What the hell? Let's go for a rear naked. Here we go. Have we got him? Is he going to tap? Oh, he's out. Bro, I'm just attacking with submissions left, right, and center. Not giving him a second to breathe. Literally. <laughs> It's over. Let's go. Pinky, stinky, stinky, Pete, whatever the hell I call this character is a double champ. Here we go. Double champ. He better give me both belts. I want to see two two belts. I only see one belt in his hand. Undisputed. Wait, where's my other belt, bro? Yo, Dana, get my other belt, bro. Bro, what the There we go. That's the double champ. Let's get it. Now it's just a question. Do I stay... At this weight class, or do I move back down? Oh my god, I got 6.7 million for that fight. That's mental. Prestiged my arm triangle as well. In a white. Only the greats have done what you did tonight, so stick your pinky. Enjoy it now. Then give me a call and let me know what belt you're going to defend next. Stay in current weight class. Move up a weight class. New belt, new challenges. I found a new home in this division. Maybe I'll come back to this division one day, but for now, I'm going home to defend my belt. I'm going to go and defend my belt. I want to keep defending the belt. And a couple of fights later, I was having a rematch with Makhachev and ended up finishing the fight with an arm triangle. You level your moves up by just using them. Once it gets to level five, you can prestige it. But to actually prestige it once it's level five, you need to win. I think it was five fights with the move. Let's go. The best there was. Prestige a move in career mode. Let's go. Shortly after that, I was in a fight with Gamrot and we ended up finishing him with an arm bar. Too easy, mate. Ooh, trophy, joint venture. Finish your fight by joint submission. After that, I decided to start unlocking a few new moves. Basically, to unlock new moves, you pay a fighter. They'll come and train with you and they'll teach you a new move. The move we was unlocking was a guard break move. We did the move and unlocked the trophy. Oh, I got trophy. Block this. What's that for? Use a guard breaking strike to break your opponent's block. Moving on, we were super close to GOAT status. All right, so let's have a look how we're doing on GOAT status. I think, um, yeah, okay, so we basically need one win from the looks of things, and we become a GOAT. So we quickly entered our next fight against Perceive and unlocked a trophy for knocking him out in the clinch. Oof. Almost knocked him out with it there. I'll try and knee him. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. KO your opponent from the clinch. That was nasty, bro. Look at that. Oh, my God. There it is. The best there ever will be. Become the GOAT in career mode. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. There we go. Look at all those beautiful gems on that belt. 16 title defenses. So now with GOAT status achieved, it was time to move into the online portion and get the other main trophy we're working towards to prestige our online fighter. The first trophy was pretty much a gimme. It was for upgrading your fighter. You start with 100 evolution points anyways. Ooh, never skip leg day. Greater fighter in online career. Now with that trophy done, I headed into the accolades menu, my player card, and equipped it five for the trophy. There we go. I did that. That's for equipping five accolades on my player card. The accolades, you pretty much get them for doing all kinds of things. As long as you're playing through the career mode, you'll probably have the majority of the accolades you need anyway. So you just equip them. Now with that trophy done, it accumulated a decent amount of coins. You get coins for doing pretty much everything in the game. You don't get many coins though. I completed the GOAT status in career mode and I'd only had about 4,500 coins. I got lucky though. There was a pair of gloves in there, a legendary pair of gloves, which is what we needed. We needed to purchase one legendary item. They update every day. So you just wait for a cheap legendary spend the points, unlock the item, and unlock the trophy. I then fully edited my player card for another trophy. I put all my five accolades on, of course, that unlocked the other trophy. I then changed my background, my profile picture, and my flair. Yep, there we go. Don't judge me. There's another easy trophy. Edit all categories for the player card. So it was now finally to actually jump into the online career mode. I did that and unfortunately got knocked out in my first fight. 
Road to gold. What's that one? Start a season in online career. It's a shame I started by getting uh, knocked out. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So now we only needed two more online trophies. This next one is probably the hardest trophy in the game. It's still not that difficult, but it's the hardest. We need to basically win three fights in a row online to win the bell. And then once we win the online bell, we need to defend it one time as well. So technically we have to win four fights in a row, which of course could be difficult depending on the opponents you get. Going for the win. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Right. The, yeah, there it is. And still, let's go. Become champion and defend the title once in ranked championship or online career. Woo. Beautiful shit. One defense. Let's see how many defenses I can get now. So now that I'd had the belt, I actually went on to defend it 10 times successfully before being brutally knocked out. My reign was over, unfortunately, but of course, it was now time to just continue working on getting evolution points so I can prestige my character, which is the main trophy we're going for online. And this trophy definitely took the longest out of all the trophies. Uh, one of the guides I looked at said you can get the platinum for this in about 10, 15 hours. I don't agree with that. It takes about 10 hours just to do this trophy. It's not hard though. You just have to keep playing matches. So to get the 1,000 points, Points. Of course, you already start with 100, so you, you technically only need 900 extra points. For every 500-ish XP you get, you unlock 25 evolution points. You get between 100 to 200 XP points per fight, so you can work it out. It's a good 150-ish fights that you need to do online, so it is quite a lot. Most of the fights, though, do finish within one to two rounds, so... It doesn't take super, super long, but still, it's a good 10 hour of playing online fights for this one. Oh my God. Jesus. The guy needs a doctor. Luckily for me, though, I absolutely love the UFC games and I love playing online. So this wasn't an issue for me. I, it felt like no time whatsoever. But of course, for those of you going in with the sole purpose of getting the platinum and seeing a guide that says the whole platinum is about 10, 15 hours, you might be shocked that it is quite a bit longer than, than that. Finally got 1000 points and prestige the fighter and unlock the final online trophy points on this fighter. All right, so now I prestige this fighter. We should get the trophy. There it is, pound for pound, prestige fighter in online career. Good shit, there we go. Oh, we got a new little color icon as well. That's pretty cool, I like it. Anyway, with that one done, the only three trophies we need now, uh, fight week trophies. Can't actually get them yet because there's no fight week thing in the game. So I'm not sure if the next normal UFC event will count or if I have to wait until the next pay-per-view. If it's for just the next event, it should be next week. But if it's only pay-per-views, then it'll, have, it'll be two weeks time before I can actually go for these. So uh, yeah, I will be back once we can do those three trophies. So it's finally fight week, which means we can get the final three trophies. The first one we get for picking the fights. What could go wrong? Make picks for the fight The second week. one we get for completing the first challenge. Right, yeah, so I've had some issues with these challenges not unlocking. It seems they've just randomly unlocked a bunch of them for some reason now. Right, here it is. Platinum should be after this fight. We've got one more challenge to complete, which is to get a knockout. Let's get it. Oh, my God. It just crumpled. That was disgusting. This knockout, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> it went for an overhand. A flying knee him in the face. Oh my god. Oh what oh my days, his hands, his arm, everything. <laughs> what a way to uh to hopefully get the platinum right now. Tony is the champ getting his revenge on Gaethje. All right, so we got the Pereira Signature 2, which was the last one we needed. So that should have completed all the challenges, which should unlock the trophy for it and then the platinum. Well, I've had a lot of issues, though, with these challenges, so I don't even know if it's going to work. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's not popped up with the trophy. 
I have a look at fight week. You see, I've just, it's just been so many issues with, oh, there we go. Easy work. We just needed to go onto the menu, maybe. Unlock all challenges during fight week, and that should unlock the platinum. There it is. The GOAT. Let's freaking go. Unlock all other trophies. Let's freaking get it. Yes, we've completed all 10 of the weekly challenges. So there it is. The platinum's complete. Probably one of the first in the world. Definitely not the first in the world, but top 20 maybe. And with that, that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did. Consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the next video.